It's only been in the past hundred years or so that we were able to see really deep down into the ocean and see the, this, this amazing cross-section of different types of aquatic life. But before we could ever see it, it was already there. And it was there by design. And the design is that the Lord wanted to just show his great creativity and to show that in this great breadth of aquatic life. So we have an aquarium that students sit and relax at, but I also think reminds us of the fact that the Lord is the author of diversity. What is now the Office of Multicultural Development has been the Office of Minority Affairs, Office of Minority Student Development, Office of Multicultural Student Development. So it's gone through a series of names, but effectively it's been the same thing, concerned about supporting students of color here on campus and then also encouraging ethnic majority students. The Office of Multicultural Development is definitely home, definitely like a place to chill, place to nap, place to get food. I always encourage my roommates to go. I come on campus and the first place I want to be is like, oh, let me stop at the OMD, even if it's out of the way, let me go get coffee, let me go see who's there. It's, it's a place where I've shed a lot of tears, I've had a lot of laughter, I've, I've had a lot of memories there, um, and I've built a lot of very strong friendships in that community. This space is wonderful for us. It's been, this is the second year that we've been here. We're in the Lower Beamer. It is a space that we've designed that has different colors and different earth tones and other colors. Now, I am not an art person, but my colleague Eva is, and she was intentional to say we should look for these types of colors. She was also intentional as we were working through that we should have artwork in here that represents different cultural contexts. As we were talking in the deans and directors group, Britt Black said, you know, I have a batik that I think would be wonderful. So we have it up on the wall, specifically representing African culture. We have a painting that was done by students in a chapel that they wanted to be in here. We have another painting in our conference room that was done by a different student that was to really represent who we are and how we work and live together. As Christians, I think we forget that even the ways that we view the Bible or how we interpret the Bible is cultural. Um, it's a contextualized kind of understanding of what the Bible means. And so if we assume that all cultures think the same way as we do, then we're really missing out on the gospel. We're really missing out on the different components of the Bible. God has done something wonderful in giving us the gift of each individual and the cultural context that we come out of. And our cultures aren't a mistake. Who God has made you and the way you express things and the culture that you come out of allows somebody else to understand a little bit more about God because they see God through your eyes. Well, part of being the body of Christ is that we also understand what grace is. And grace says that we are to be patient with each other. Grace says we are to spend time with each other. And we're preparing women and men to know how to address that outside of here. How to be people who are able to engage with difference and who are able to engage with conflict in a way that still says we are doing that as men and women of God.